recipe, you're going to need a crock pot. Mine is a two quart. Uh, most of the time I use a three and a half quart, so we will adjust the measurements a little bit. You will need some apples. We went to the apple orchard and just picked a variety. You're going to need some sweet, some tart, like Granny Smith, or you can do all sweet, whichever ones you want. You're going to need some apple pie spice, some ground cinnamon, and some ground nutmeg, and some sugar. You're going to want to cut and peel enough apples to fill your crock pot as full as you can get it with the lid on. So, some, you know, they'll pile up in the top of there. And then you're going to cook it on low for 12 hours. Okay, after 12 hours, they're going to be cooked down like this. You're going to take your whisk and just whisk them to make them smooth. Okay, after you've whisked them for a few minutes, then you're going to add your ingredients. Not library, All right, you're going to add one and a half cups of sugar. Stir it up real good. Then you're going to add um, your ground nutmeg, and I always do a little less than a teaspoon of each of these because this is only a two quart, uh, and I usually make it in a three quart, so I, do a, I don't do a full teaspoon. So you add your nutmeg, and then your cinnamon, like I said, not a, quite a full teaspoon, and then your apple pie spice. Not quite a full teaspoon. You're going to mix that real good. I would stir for probably about a good three to four minutes. Alright, you're going to want to put it in your jars while it's, if you're, jar, if you're canning them, you're going to want to put it in your jars while it's hot. Alright, that made two and a little over a half jars uh, for your two quart. Now, if you're going to can these for saving them for a while, you want to go your normal route of preserving. But I'm going to be giving these away, so I'm just going to seal them with the heat that they create themselves. But there you go, your homemade apple butter.